let me say something and I can be wrong about this. We know that there are some witches, some occult members, who work with demons. Working with demons to come against true Christians. So either trying to kill them or trying to curse them. Now, what some people may do is pray against the witches and the occult members. Pretty much saying in so many words, let the curses and spells come back upon the witch or the occult member. So pretty much in so many words, praying for that witch or occult member to die. And I have a problem with that. And I can be wrong about this. We should not be praying for witches to die. We should not return the curses and spells they try to place upon us. Listen. Witches and occult members are deceived. You know, if they die in sin, they are going to hell. So a human being, you are wishing death. Yes, they may be trying to kill you. Yes, they may be trying to harm you. Yes, but you are praying for bad things on that witch or occult member. No matter what they are doing to you, listen, let me say this. We should be praying that God saves that witch or occult member. We should be praying that God can do something to stop them from doing what they are doing, not return their curses and spells back upon them. When you serve God, yes, we still can die, yes, but we are protected. When they are serving demons and stuff like that, yes, they are protected by the grace of God as well, but look, if they die in sin, they are going to hell. When Jesus Christ was living on this earth, people were treating him so wrongly. People crucified him, but he still asked God the Father to forgive them. He did not say, God, strike all these people down. Let every curse, spell, whatever, come back against them. No, he asked God the Father to forgive them. Now, you may disagree with what I am saying, and that is okay. Now, back in the past, I would do the same thing, return curses and spells back upon the witches, and after a while, I was thinking, this is not good. What am I doing? This is wrong. So there is a witch that I pray even to this day for maybe three or four years now. I have been praying maybe three years. I have been praying for this witch. And I have no idea if that witch is dead, alive, saved, in sin. I have no idea. But I still pray for that person. And I ask God to have mercy on that witch. 
for that witch to change her life so that she can go into heaven. I am not praying any curses on that person. Listen, and I believe this to be true as well. I believe that even when it comes down to our prayers, I believe that we are going to reap what we sow. So if you are praying for curses to be returned to a person, and I can be wrong about this, I can be so wrong about this, but I believe if you are praying for curses to be returned to a person, I believe something is going to happen to you as well. I believe that something not good because the scales must be balanced. So this is why I tell you all to show love to everyone, to show compassion to everyone, even to the people who are trying to kill you. Now that may sound crazy to carnal people, but this is what we must do. So I pray that this makes sense. Stop returning spells and curses back upon that person. God let every curse or spell that they are trying to place upon me, let it be returned back to them. No. God, please save those witches. Let them repent. Be on their conscience. Let them come to you. Pray stuff like that. Not for harm and for them to die and stuff like that. No, they are people. Deceived people. Let me say this. Have you been good? Have you been righteous all your life? No. So what if a person prayed evil upon you while you were doing evil? And let's say that you died or would have died. You would have gone to hell. Listen. Now, you may disagree with this. So be it. But please contemplate on this. God bless you.